Hi, Gene Burnett from GeneBurnett.com. Um, I thought we talked a little bit today about um, Chan Su Jin, which is called uh, silk, silk reeling energy, sometimes spiraling energy or, or you know, corkscrew energy. Um, apparently, the silkworm puts the silk on the cocoon in a spiral. And when you take the silk off the cocoon, you have to pull it gently off that spiral. So it, it connotes not only um, a spiraling quality, but also a, um, a, a, a soft quality. It's not hard spiraling. Um, you've heard me say in maybe one of my other videos uh, that I do what I call a Chen flavored Yang style. So it's basically Yang family style, but it's an older style that's got more in common with the, uh, the Chen family roots uh, of Tai Chi. And one of the things that means is that um, there's more spiraling um, within the movements. <clears throat> Often when people think of spiraling, they'll make some kind of spiral up here with their hand and you'll see their knees wobbling around or twisting, which is not good. Uh, or it is good, but for injuries. It's good for injuries, but not good for health. Um, or you'll see people doing spiralings, but with lots of I isolation. So it's just one part of the body and nothing else. Like you'll see people do finger or um, uh, wrist circles, and they're just doing that with just their wrist and nothing else. Um, what, what I'm going to show you now is just how to do one particular exercise and, and the principles of Chan Su Jin will hopefully um, come across in that exercise. So let's start with that wrist circle. So here's just me isolating my wrist all by itself, just making a circle in space. And notice I'm in a back stance, my weight's back, there's space between my knees, I'm not collapsing in here. So here's that circle. Now I'm going to let my elbow help that circle a little bit. Now it's not just my hand doing the work. My elbow's helping a little bit because I'm pulling back on this part, forward on that part. Now my shoulder can help. So I'm reaching out and coming in and out. It's not a, not a very huge circle, but it's at least a little bit of one here. That. Now I'm going to let my weight shift back and forth. So now it's really starting to become less and less about my wrist more and more about my whole body. So even if you just take it to this level, that's much more holistic and much better for your joints than this. I'm drawing my weight back, I'm pushing it forward. Drawing it back, pushing it forward. So my arm is helping. Every piece of my arm is helping this. When other parts of the body help, then this part can relax a little bit and it can be a little bit smoother. Now, if I want to go even further, I want to get my waist, my Dantian lower uh, waist and hip area involved in this. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go forward and I'm going to square my hips. And then I'm going to go back and not square my hips. Forward and square the hips. Back and not square the hips. So you can see if, if I make this a little bit rounder, that this circle here is steering this circle here in my hand. You notice the, the, the body circle is a little bit ahead of the hand circle. That's an, that's an exaggerated delay, almost like break dancing. But the, the delay is because the ripple moves off of this, and so it can't be, if it's synced up exactly, it's just too tight and you're losing, using local strength again. This has to make this move. So the weight goes forward and I square myself. The weight comes back and I unsquare myself. Meaning square, meaning like facing the same direction as my front foot, right? So um, when you do that, here's the trick. When you go forward and square yourself, this elbow in a sense is moving behind me. It's moving back. And because that elbow is moving back, this knee wants to come in. So you want to keep that space there and especially don't turn that back knee in when your weight's forward and you're doing that turn. When you come back and turn this way, now this elbow is moving back. So if this elbow is moving back, this knee wants to follow. So once again, you want to maintain that space. So when you go forward, watch your back knee. When you go back, watch your front knee. And then you just start steering this around through your whole body so that your leg is doing the pushing, your leg is adding, doing the powering, right? Your root is in the foot, of course. The, the leg is doing the powering. The waist is 
directing that, and then the shoulder, elbow, wrist, the arm is expressing that energy going out this way. You can also go the other way. So when you do the other version, which would be like going like this, here it's the opposite. I'm not square. Now I am square. Not square. I have to work on this elbow's moving back, so don't twist that knee. When I come back to square, this elbow's moving back, so watch that knee. So you got to be careful of your knees when you do this stuff. But either way, you want this circle here to be steering this around so that the arm isn't moving all by itself. But if this is too tricky and too hard to do from just learning it on a blurry little YouTube video, um, even just doing this circle but and pushing your weight forward and back. See here I'm going forward and back and I'm not, I'm not um, using my waist much. I'm not using my hips. I'm not really turning. It's still better than just doing this. Still better than doing that, right? So I'm using my weight forward and using the weight back. Yeah. Oh, we have some fighting here. That's okay. It's a part of the help. So if you can get that that in there, it just makes it much more connected to your body and more connected to your to your whole self instead of just like one little piece move. This is just one little piece move. Okay, so you know. Uh, not only is this just good for your joints and keeping them soft and relaxed and loose and moving and connected, but also um, just, you know, martially, these circles, you know, these circles can work through your body in all kinds of different ways that involve issuing energy um, or like for grabs, you know, you, you can, make, you know, there's a kind of a standard thing, you know, somebody grabs your arm and you circle it in and bring it out like that. And they, they have a hard time hanging on to that grip. Well, that's this same body circle here. You just go down, and then you lift with your legs and come over, so it can have the body power going out to the hand. So, Chan Su Jin is great stuff. That's just one, you know, that's just one version of it. That's just one joint that I'm focusing on. I'm focusing on the whole body, steering my elbow around, in, or steering my wrist around in space like that. Um, you can do the same thing with the elbow circles here, and you can do it with shoulder just shoulder circle here and you can do them at the same time um, if you're interested in this kind of stuff um, uh, check out uh, find a Chen style teacher because they do this a lot in Chen style um, and if you're a Yang style person maybe you can just think about some of these ideas and see if you can integrate that into your Yang style a little bit so there's a little bit of a spirally quality in your, in your movements so uh, again if you like this thing subscribe to my YouTube channel uh, I do lots of Tai Chi, nature, music, and a few humor videos here and there. I also have a website, jeanburnett.com, where you can get more information about uh, me and what I do. And uh, thanks for watching.